Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Tom McCoy, or Tomography, whichever. Um, today, I'm going to be bringing you a very simple tutorial, some easy color grading, uh, black and white color corrections. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do my black and white color correction. I uh, thought it was pretty basic, but um, I'm bringing it for you guys today because it's fast, it's easy, and uh, I haven't done a tutorial for a while, so I want to let you guys know that I'm still alive. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to be using Sony Vegas only. Uh, you can do the same stuff in Magic Bullets, but um, there isn't really a need to for black and white. It pretty much looks the same. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Right here, uh, this white thing is just my black bars that you see in the preview. You can see it there. Uh, then we have our clip. I took out all the effects and uh, like blurs and the color correction things like that so this is just the raw footage it is edited to the song and this is our song so let me show you what we got real quick that might have been loud for you guys I'm gonna turn it down alright so that's our clip uh, the first thing I usually do well we're gonna right click on our clip, go to switches, and then disable resample. Uh, this is obviously film, so we want it to be smooth, so disabling resample is gonna help us with that. The next thing I usually do anytime I record something off my DSLR is I go to my video effects, scroll all the way down, and find sharpen. Just go ahead and grab the default and put it onto our video track, this little uh, T looking thing here. And then that looks really bad, so we're gonna bring it down to about 19. Um, I do this because it brings out more detail. Shoot, I can't get it, there we go. It brings out more detail in the clip without making it look like it was actually edited. So let me show you what that looks like. Without, with it. So it just helps out bring a little bit more contrast and bring out some details that you couldn't see before. Uh, I only do that with footage, I don't do that with anything else. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, and we're actually going to start our color correction now, is we're going to go to our video effects and find black and white. You can grab the default, but I'm just going to grab the 100%, put it onto our video track, leave that just like it is, all the way through. So now it's black and white, clearly. And now we can start uh, adding the gray effect. Now the, the reason I'm doing a black and white tutorial is because that doesn't always look good. What a lot of people like is to make the black actually look gray. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, Kendrick Lamar does it all the time. Earl Sweatshirt does it all the time. I do it all the time. I think it looks great. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. The first thing I usually do is I go to my video effects again, and I go to levels. What levels is gonna help us with is get the nice composition that we want. Um, so the default is just like this. So we have our input start. Input is how much black is in there. Then we have our output start, and that's how much white is in there. Now normally to get the gray, you can just go like that and be done. But for this specific clip, that doesn't look good. So I'm actually gonna, I wanna make the, the background be black because I have my subject here. And for this specific editing that I, I did at the time um, for my hookah edit, um, I had the backgrounds black, so what I did was I brought in my input, I think it was like 48, yeah that looks good. So now you can't see the background, because you have your subject lit here. Um, output, you can bring it up to make it gray, but there's another way we can do it, and that involves curves. So we're just going to leave that like it is. And then gamma, all gamma is is the exposure, so we can bring it up, that looks awful, that looks awful, so we're just going to leave it at 1. All right, so we're all done with our levels. That's pretty much what it is. And this is gonna change for a lot of uh, different clips. You're gonna have to adjust it to what you're doing. But for this specific clip, this is what I'm doing. Just teaching you guys the basics of it. Um, so we're gonna exit out of that. So it's not gray yet. Uh, the way I'm gonna add the gray is I'm gonna add my curves. So we're gonna go to video effects again and grab color curves, get the default, put it onto our video track. 
and you're gonna get something like this. Now, a lot of people are intimidated by curves if they don't know much about color grading. They're actually really, 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 really easy. There's only like three points you have to move. Um, so we don't have to worry about red, green, and blue. I mean, we can, we can like make it red right. if you want, but let's, uh, let's not do that. So we're just gonna go to R RGB, red, green, blue. And I won't let you move this most of the time. Most of the time you have to click over here and then move it. So we're just gonna grab this guy right here, this bottom point, and move it to about where the gray is. Now all this is doing is changing your darkest color to a lighter color. So that is black. So it's basically uh, exposure offset uh, for Sony Vegas. So that looks nice and gray. That's really what we want. But when you go to render, just keep this in mind. Um, it's gonna render a little bit darker than what you had. So if I want something like this color, then I'm gonna have to put it about that color. Just keep that in mind. But I mean, for the tutorial, it doesn't really matter. Um, so a lot of people like to have low contrast colors. Uh, so lower contrast seems tends to be a lot lighter and there's not a lot more, there's a lot less color saturation. Higher contrast, a lot more saturation, a lot more black. Um, really what contrast is, is the amount of black that's in your colors. Now brightness is the amount of white. So don't get those two confused. Brightness is the amount of white, contrast is the amount of black. Um, so a lot of people tend to make the mistake in Sony Vegas of when they say, oh, I want low contrast. Then they'll go to the brightness and contrast, drag it on there, and they'll put the contrast weight on there. That looks really, really bad. Not only does it look bad here, but it looks bad when it's rendered. It looks really, really, really bad. I never use brightness and contrast. What I usually do is if you grab this guy right here on your color curves, you pull that down, that is contrast. It's bringing down our whites closer to our blacks. You can even go below it. So I'll put it about right here because that's kind of the colors I want. And that looks really, really nice. That looks pretty cool. It basically turns the white more black. So let's see what that looks like real quick. And that looks really good. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's a really simple tutorial. If you know, if you know the vocabulary of color corrections, it's super easy. Uh, the main thing to keep in mind, contrast, brightness, and uh, your levels, input versus output, and your gamma. Um, once you get this down, I mean, you can color correct like nothing. I'll do some more color correction tutorials in the future, but I had a lot of people ask me for this one for some reason, so I did this one first. Um, now that the tutorial is pretty much over, I'm just gonna say I'm really sorry I haven't done tutorials for a while. I've been really, really busy. Um, I'm finishing up my associate's degree. Uh, I, I work for my college. And uh, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of photography. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> uh, if, you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm more active on there than I'm on YouTube. I post a picture every day. I do street photography. So follow me on Instagram if you guys are interested. Um, all my social media is in the bottom. Twitter, you know, keep up with me what I'm doing. I'm in my Twitter for my subscribers so they can see what I'm doing. Uh, Facebook, Vimeo, um, Instagram. There's one more. I forget what it is. Face Did I say Facebook, Twitter? I don't know. Um, anyway, leave a like and a comment. In the description below, you guys can download the, um, the clip and the song, everything you need to practice this effect before you put it into your videos. Um, if you guys do upload something like this, go ahead and personal message it to me on YouTube. I'll take a look at it. Uh, tell if you need to improve, tell me, or tell you if you don't. I'm usually very good at getting back to my subscribers. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much. My name is Tom. I'm glad I can help you guys out.